You've definitely heard by this point that Jennifer Coolidge's snobby heiress Tanya McCoy didn't make it out alive. Tanya is apparently set up by her husband Greg in a sad, but also sort of amusing, chain of events. Tanya is taken hostage by Quentin, his rumored lover, and held captive on a yacht. She murders her captors before the credits start to roll, but in trying to get away, she accidentally kills herself. Despite the craziness of it all, the scene appeared to be rather straightforward. Tanya locates a gun and defends herself with it. She then jumps off the yacht, strikes herself on a pole, and drowns in an adrenaline-fueled departure. While some viewers, like myself, processed her untimely demise, others were busy asking questions like, where the hell was Greg during all of this? Was he hiding somewhere on the yacht? Well, Reddit user large outside 9511 seems to think so. While watching the show, they spotted Greg's name pop up on screen, which means he could have been one of the many voices yelling at Tanya before she began shooting. Check it out. The closed captioning said Greg yells, Tanya while she is locked in the room on the yacht. Then we heard people running upstairs and a door slamming at one point. Hugo was hiding behind the couch, and the other two were shot. The captain was on the top of the boat so he was one of the footsteps. I'm thinking Greg was on the boat waiting for Tanya to be taken back to the hotel so he could stay the night on the boat and celebrate with Quentin while his wife floats away to her demise. From there, the user suspect Greg ditched the boat and swam his sorry ass to safety. He would have had enough time to escape to shore before the morning when Tanya's body was discovered absolutely furious Greg won in this situation. I'm thinking next season he will be at the next White Lotus looking for his next con, but gets caught. As wild as it sounds, I'm on board with this as a theory. First of all, the Reddit fan was right Greg's name does appear in the closed captions. It's quick, sure, but maybe we have a clue for season 3. Speaking of, if the next chapter of the White Lotus is anything like this one, we can expect one returning character. In season 2, it was Tanya, but now that she's dead, Greg could be the through line for round 3. After all, Greg's story is the only one without a neat little bow and, even if he did manage to escape, he has quite the mess to clean up. Not to mention. Series creator Mike White teased that season 3 will tackle death and Eastern religion. What if Greg travels to a new location to grieve Tanya's demise? In that case, I would be thrilled to see what karma has in store at the next White Lotus Resort. Will Greg get away with it? Greg, John Grise, set up Tanya, Jennifer Coolidge, to be murdered in hopes of earning a windfall inheritance from her massive fortune, but the plan didn't quite play out as intended because she figured out the plot and shot her kidnappers to death. Sadly, Tanya didn't manage to make it far beyond that as she tripped and hit her head on the escape dingy before drowning in the Sicilian waters. Considering Greg doesn't have to pay Quentin and Tanya died of her own accord, will he get away with the scheme and her money? We're dying to know, especially since he didn't show up again this season. What is Greg and Quentin's connection? Quentin talked about a heterosexual cowboy that he fell in love with during a candid moment with Tanya, and it's implied that this person is Greg, but what is Quentin and Greg's real connection? We never truly find out, but the fact that they'd plot a murder scheme together must mean they're fairly close. Is Jack related to Quentin or not? When Portia questions Jack about his true identity, calling him out for lying about the scenario therein, he doesn't directly confirm or deny if he's related to Quentin. Yeah? So you FK your uncle? Portia asks accusingly to Jack when she confronts him in the car on their supposed return to Sicily. Clearly, Portia knows he's lying about why he's keeping her away from Tanya, but he maintains the secrecy surrounding his and Quentin's relationship, that it really makes us uncertain whether or not incest was actually taking place. Not to mention, we never learn what that deep hole Quentin dragged Jack out of was, 